TGIF, everyone. And no, it's not St. Patrick's Day, although I have a bunch of green in front of me. So my challenge, uh, one of the groups that I'm in, my challenge is um, to do a monochromatic piece. Pick one color. You can use any versions or shades of that color, but create something with that color with no metallic. So I'm going to give this a go. So I have a couple cups already done. So this is the green that I'm using as my base. And as you can tell, I have different amounts in each of these. Then I have white uh, white, and black. And then I made this cup here. If I tip it, it'll spill, but it is a green glow in the dark. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of uh, mixing to lighten and darken some things. I think I might like to lean a little more onto the darker side. Put more, a little, a little, and then the green. And let me stir these and see how they're looking. So this is giving me a really deep dark green. It's a deep green. It's a little bit lighter. I actually take a little bit of that into there. like that. Stir this in. Okay. I'm going to add a little more green to my darkest value here because it is too dark and I think it'll kind of eat everything up. But as I'm putting it in, I'm only kind of swirling it a bit just to see what that's going to do for us. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to be layering these in a moment. Sorry about that interruption. That was actually my dog needing a ball. Um, yeah, these these things happen. It's true. Real life happens here. I keep saying it. All right, so I've got... So I am going to... Into this one. I'm just going to add a little bit of white to brighten that. And I want to see what that's going to do. Oh, that turned it really pretty. Not huge differences between all of them. That one. I'm going to move some of these off. That's the fluorescent. And I'm going to line these up. This guy's in the middle. This and this. And these definitely have green in them. It is definitely a very, very forest green. Alright, 
I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the fluorescent. A little bit of fluorescent. Just a wee bit. I'm going to put just a little squirt on the side. 91% alcohol. Turn it and do a squirt on the opposite side. Okay, and I want some of my actual green. And I think what I want to try to do here is kind of um, a tree ring pour. Um, hopefully, when it's done, I can get the effect of uh, malachite, which is what I'm shooting for. Another set, squirt the alcohol. Some of our original green. I want to put some more of our deep. Give you an idea of that green. I guess I could do that for each one for you. I'll put my little cup off to the side here. I can still see us in view. So I've got this. idea what we're going for here or what we're going to end up with. I think what I'm going to do is give a little zhuzh. Just kind of draw an S and then back up through it. And I just let my drips do what they do. Okay. And then I kind of start pouring. Now, I notice one thing here, and this will be important for you all as well. See how I had my stuff set up? I wasn't on the edges. So before you actually start your pour, you don't want this, whatever's holding you up, 
whatever you're using to hold your canvas up, you do not want it to be um, holding the canvas. You want it setting on that wood frame. And I apologize, my arm's all over the place. All righty. Rolling up my sleeves, putting some goodies out of the way. All right, let's see what this gets us. So I'm just moving my hands back and forth slightly, ever so slightly. And I'm letting this travel a little bit. Oh, look at that. Looks like it's popping right out. Keep going. Alrighty. And then I'm going to use just to help the corners along. This is a pretty translucent green, so I'm interested to see what we end up here. Now I'm going into this not really with any kind of a master plan, so I'm just winging it at the moment. Real quick hit with a little bit of heat. Just want to get this traveling a wee bit first. corner catcher. So I just use a little uh, box that I cut in half. It had a nice solid cardboard and some crease. Um, and it's been working pretty well for me. I had a few of them left. Before I start moving everything again, I'm going to add a little more fluid here.
Sorry guys, I'm holding this way out of your view because there's some really cool stuff happening here. And you know, I'm not the steadiest with the hands here, so if I happen to drop this and you hear some words that you shouldn't, um, that would be the cause. just going to let it see what it wants to do for a little bit. I do want that off of there. I think I need to stretch this out just Sorry, I've been quiet a little bit. I forget sometimes as I'm working what I'm doing. I get into it, and I really like the way this looks right now. And I'm trying to decide. <laughs> My problem is I really like what's happening over here. And I really like what's happening over here. And it's one of those, ooh, do I try or don't I try? And... I heard the expression, God hates a coward, so we're going for it. some of the junk that ends up in here. That was a gotta go. That's a gotta go. 
that's a gotta go. All right, everybody. So I will give this another minute. I'm going to just give it a little light heat just to see what's happening here. See if that's going to rise up at all. I can't wait to do the dry of this because it's really looking cool. One other little thing. Oh, I hate having to do this. Look at that. Yucca. But it's worth the time to get them out now while it's still wet and you can still recover from it. Otherwise then, once it's dry, you gotta wash it and then you gotta resin it and hopefully the light washing and a little bit of sanding fixed it. So, I think we're gonna call this a wrap for right now. Um, Thank you for tuning in to Desco Artistry. Uh, I haven't come up with a great name yet. Uh, I want to kind of get an online group going together of uh, like-minded people. People who aren't afraid to share what they know and aren't afraid to ask questions. Um, I know sometimes that can be hard to do. Uh, I'm on the Shire side, believe it or not. This is way out of my comfort zone. So... That's it for now. Uh, please click the bell so you know uh, when I'm going to be on next. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great one, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll see you tomorrow.